In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make really easy strawberry shortcakes. Hey guys, my name is Erin Courtney, and a few years ago, whenever we went to my in-law's house for Easter, my mother-in-law made some strawberry shortcakes for dessert, which is something that I hadn't had a classic strawberry shortcake since I was a kid, and oh my god, it was like taking a bite into blissful heaven. It was fantastic. So I had to make it again. But in today's recipe, we're gonna be taking some shortcuts because we are gonna be using Bisquick frozen strawberries that have been thawed to make the sauce. And for the whipped cream, I'm being lazy. Ready whip, sorry y'all. No, I'm not, it's just for me. Strawberry shortcakes are essentially just a sweet biscuit with a strawberry sauce and then topped with whipped cream. You cannot go wrong with that. I'll post the recipe link below. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe because there's gonna be a lot more videos coming. Let's do this. I'm actually doing a slight modification on the shortcake recipe on the back of the Bisquick box. Let's get those shortcakes going. In a medium-sized mixing bowl, we're gonna put our Bisquick baking mix, add some sugar, melted butter, and some milk. Give that a good stir until a soft dough forms. This right here is one of my favorite utensils for scooping out dough when making cookies, scones, biscuits, you name it, I love it. They come in a variety of sizes, and I'm making these beautiful shortcakes a little bit bigger because I want bigger strawberry shortcakes. There's nothing wrong with that. Using this scoop for this recipe, you get seven shortcakes. If you need more shortcakes, you can use a smaller scoop. Why would you wanna do that? Or you can just double the batch. I personally don't like for my shortcakes to stand up really tall, so that's why you see me flattening these out a little bit. This makes them more level, and I feel like I can put more strawberry sauce on them. There is a method to the madness, I promise. We're gonna bake these in a 425 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes, just until they're a light golden. A little time-saving tip here, you can make the biscuits ahead of a time, ahead of a time, ahead of time, wrap them individually in plastic wrap, put them in the freezer, and then you can pull them out to thaw at room temperature the morning of that you're gonna serve. Say you're gonna serve them on Easter, thaw them out that morning, you can even pop them in the microwave to heat them up if you want to. While the shortcakes are baking, we're gonna make that delightful strawberry sauce. I'm using frozen strawberries that have been thawed. Very important, they need to be thawed before you start doing this. We are gonna cook these on medium heat. Give them an occasional stir as they start to heat up before we start mashing them. Once they really start to get warm, grab your potato masher and go to town on them. I like to mash mine up as much as I possibly can. This releases a lot of the juices. See, look at all that coming out. Oh, that's beautiful. Once we get it mashed to the consistency we want, we're gonna add our sugar. Stir that in and continue cooking for just a minute or two. See how pretty that is? Once it's done cooking, you're just gonna set it aside to slightly cool. After you make the strawberry sauce, you can pop that in the fridge, just make sure it's covered, and then top it with your whipped cream when you're ready to assemble. You're welcome. Our shortcakes are ready. One of the things I love about these silicone baking mats is that they bake so evenly. Perfect. The time has come to assemble our strawberry shortcake. I like using a serrated knife here to cut our shortcake evenly into two even horizontal layers. Grab that strawberry sauce and start spooning some on the bottom shortcake layer. Top it with the other half. You guessed it, more strawberry sauce. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to sink my teeth into this. Time to top it with some whipped cream. Ooh, yes. You know what time it is. It's my favorite part of the video. Oh boy. I was trying to decide if I was gonna eat this with a fork or a spoon, but I chose a spoon so I could sop up all of the strawberry goodness. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Mmm. 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 How did I make it through college in my adult years without eating this? Oh my God. Mm. 
Somebody needs to stop me. Seriously. It's ridiculous. Please? Please stop me? Never mind. I'm good. I'm good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.